This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 533, The Most Dangerous Words Your Customer Can Say, by J.L. Collins of jlcollinsnh.com. And I'm Dan, your personal narrator. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and uh, this is the place where I read to you from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship every single day. And with that, we're gonna get right to it as we optimize your life. The Most Dangerous Words Your Customer Can Say by J.L. Collins of jlcollinsnh.com. At some point in many of my sales programs, it was always fun to throw out the question, what is the most dangerous thing your customer can say to you? Over the years, I've come up with quite a collection called from the various audiences, sometimes tragic, sometimes compelling, sometimes funny, but always instructive. Here are a few. We hate you. You're fired. We are never going to do business with you again. We are giving all the business to your competitor. Go away. Don't call me, I'll call you. And perhaps my personal favorite, get deodorant. Ouch. While comments like these are certainly terrible things to hear, they are not the most dangerous. Arguably, they are the worst things you could hear, but not the most dangerous. Let's consider exactly what we mean when we say the most dangerous words. If your customer is saying to you, you're fired or go away, the game is lost. You are back at ground zero. The danger is over. You are beyond any hope of salvaging the situation. Time to retreat and start planning on how to rebuild. Dangerous then refers to not a complete and finished disaster, but rather to one looming on the horizon. Consider a comment like, could someone else handle our account from now on? This is something else. The worst, losing the business, has not yet happened, but it is looming. Change is coming your reputation is certainly going to suffer when management has to make that change to save the business. But at least everything is clear and in the open. A similar group of dangerous comments revolve around mistakes. Things like, you guys really blew it this time. You really screwed us up this time. This shipment is completely unacceptable. This is not what we ordered and we are hard against our deadline. We are completely dissatisfied with your product. We are completely dissatisfied with your service. We don't like your tie. Sometimes it's the little things. Now these are certainly dangerous, but at least they have the advantage of being direct. You have other ties. Indeed, mistakes, if handled properly and promptly, can be turned into an asset. By accepting responsibility and going through the five-step process, your bond with the customer can be considerably strengthened. All problems and complaints voiced in your presence indicate rapport and represent a wonderful opportunity to build and enhance your relationship. The customer is looking to you for solutions. If you deliver, it makes a powerful, long-lasting impression. So, while comments involving mistakes are a cause for concern and action, they are not the most dangerous. No, the most dangerous will have an additional element, the element of not being obvious, but hidden, disguised, sweet, soothing. Unless we are very careful and aware, this one won't set off any alarm bells. It's one that's easy to ignore or even to enjoy. The most dangerous words your customer can say are something like these. You don't have to sell us, we love you guys. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who wouldn't like to hear this from their customers? After all, isn't this what we work so hard to achieve? This level of bliss, of customer contentment? All of that is true. This could be, and probably is, a genuine compliment. One you deserve and have worked hard to receive. And that's great. Accept it as such and enjoy it just so long as you don't take it literally, don't stop selling, and don't stop working hard for their interests. Too many salespeople do exactly that. After all, the customer has just asked us, has just instructed us, and has just given us permission to begin to take their business for granted. Other tasks are pressing. We could use this time to... They may think they really mean it. They may be completely sincere. They may really love you. But don't dare, even for a moment, believe that they really want you to stop working hard for them. It is, after all, the reason why they love you. We must never forget that selling is an ongoing pursuit. We have never arrived. We are always on the journey. There is no such thing as old business. Customers are always making the decision to do business with us, or not to, anew. The very first step towards losing the business is taking it for granted. And when we take this compliment literally, we've begun to do just that. This is the only opening a sharp, aggressive competitor needs to begin to pry it away piece by piece. The danger inherent in these words is profound, 
and all the more intense because it is so easy to miss and ignore. That's what makes these the most dangerous words your customer can say. You don't have to sell us. We love you guys. You just listened to the post titled The Most Dangerous Words Your Customer Can Say by J.L. Collins of jlcollinsnh.com. With over 70,000 startups in America, it can be tough to spot one, but I think I just found one with insane first mover advantage. It's a tech company, and they've unlocked an investment typically reserved for the world's richest individuals. They've got over 350,000 users and have been featured on CNBC, Forbes, and Bloomberg. Since 2017, They've sold three of their investment offerings, each realizing a net annualized gain above 30% for their investors. This is not an indication of their overall performance. And of course, past performance is not indicative of future results. But still, the numbers speak for themselves. It's a company called Masterworks. They securitize blue chip artwork, not NFTs, but multi-million dollar paintings from artists like Money, Banksy, and Picasso. I've decided to partner with them and even got you all VIP access to Masterworks. That way you can check them out for yourself. Just log on to masterworks.art slash OSD for VIP access. That's masterworks.art slash OSD. And see important Regulation A disclosures at masterworks.io slash CD. And thanks to J.L. Collins. He is an accomplished consultant, author, and speaker He's now retired, but he continues to write on his blog and uh, he's got a really popular stock series that's worth your time. The site is J.L. Collins NH. The NH stands for New Hampshire. And if you're a listener of the podcast Optimal Finance Daily, then that name's gonna sound familiar to you. He's regularly narrated over there because he typically writes about personal finance. His book, The Simple Path to Wealth, is regularly mentioned on Optimal Finance Daily and very highly reviewed as well got a five-star rating with over 5,000 customer reviews on Amazon, so that is definitely worth checking out if you're interested in building wealth in the simplest way possible. Again, the book is called The Simple Path to Wealth, and you can find that along with a lot more info about JL over at jlcollinsnh.com. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Hope you're having a great St. Patrick's Day, and thanks so much for being a subscriber and regular listener here. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.